Hello there and welcome to my villager guide for Nessis. In this video I want to explain what kind of villagers they are, what can you do with them, how can you control them and I, I really want to get as much information about that topic into this one video as possible and keep it as short as possible at the same time. That being said, let's get right started. So villagers are the main backbone of your colony. They always come to your settlement flag and every now and then a new person will try to be hired at your place. They'll have a question mark about their head and when you right click this flag you get all the controls about settlers in your colony. You can access this also by the pressing the hotkey C. Now before I get into all the technical details about controls, I want to talk a little bit about what what kind of differences are there. So every settler, colonist, villager, whatever you want to call them, has a the something in in their name. Glenn the villager, uh, Cody the guard, and so on and so forth. This is a um, their, their classification about their skills. If you want to know what's uh, what kind of different villagers they are about, there is here a, a question mark which allows you to check what is in the game. Every one of these guys is found somewhere and has sometimes they have different uh, prerequisites. For example, the uh, pawnbroker will only join you after a certain quest has been fulfilled. There's a couple of these that have certain uh, fulfillments and on this screen you can see what you where you will find them. What is really important to say, they all have distinct abilities. So at the mage you can buy items and you can enchant your gear, hire them to your colony and you keep these skills. This is true for every single one of them. So a pawnbroker hired to your colony means you can sell stuff whenever you want and an angler will start fishing at your colony and they, they will all keep their skills once they are hired. That's that. So when you need to hire people or when you want to hire people you will need coins and sometimes stuff that is related to their job that's about that now it gets let's get over to the controls here on this area you see the basic information you can assign beds to these mind you everybody in your colony needs a bed and you need to have at least one container that is free for the city to be taken out of which contains food otherwise your people will be very very unhappy with you that being said talking about happiness this green square here shows you their happiness level let's talk with Catherine and ask her how she's feeling so as you see here you see a proper readout about their feelings and what they're thinking about that and as you see here the happier they are the more productive people are the happiness is higher when they have their own building with enough room and enough furniture and diversity of diet all these things so in a nutshell you want to have a building for everybody and sufficient stockpiles of resources you can here also move people to other places or banish them if you don't want to keep them now in the command area you can also Press this uh, button to select all people and call them to follow you. This can be very, very interesting as you can right click each and everybody in your colony to equip them with certain gear. So for example, here the guard, let's look at your equipment. As you can see here, they have for one cosmetic slot, which allows you to individualize their looks. But most importantly, they have gear slots. So your folks will pick up the best gear in the chests available if there is stuff available by default. This follow me command is cool and so far as it is a really easy way to drag them into combat. When you press clear orders they get back to their daily business. Pretty useful stuff when you want to have them um, hiding or fighting depending on what you're after. So you can also configure the equipment area here and what's really important is that you can set up a filter so you can configure what kind of stuff you want to wear let the people wear or you can just let them manage by themselves and you just dump the equipment that you not want them to wear to the chest it's a very easy way to just do so and you get decently equipped people if you just dump decent gear in there and the diet section well normally your people just will pick up and eat whatever they want but uh, you can also configure that they're uh, not going to touch your high class 
buff gourmet food, for example. That's a pretty nifty thing to do. And in the restriction area, you can also set up zones where they are allowed to be or not allowed to be. This is extremely useful, for example, for, like I said, when raids happen, you can just make a small area where you just uh, configure them all towards two. So it goes like this, create a new area, and then you just, uh, that's not here. A cogwheel first, and uh, just like this, we have a uh, area here, and if we assign everybody there, they are all in safety, just as an example what you can do with this thing. Defend zone is measuring the area where your people will fight baddies if they are spawning in there. It's uh, automatically expanding. Pretty nifty thing. Don't turn it off unless you want to. And last but not least, work priorities thing. So the basic default setting is that all people do every job from left to right. So hauling first and crafting and forestry and so on and so forth. Some jobs need specialists, namely fertilizing, husbandry, fishing, and hunting. These can only be done by the villages with the according jobs. These are really unique and exclusive, and otherwise these four jobs here are pretty uh, common. Only the guards, they excel mainly at fighting. There is not much left to say about the um, specialties about these settlers their jobs. I don't want to spoiler what they do. It's just left to say the guards are the only ones which have relevant combat stats and the whole bunch, the rest of them is mainly either for resource gathering purposes, chopping purposes or stuff like that. So if you want fighters, highly recommend to go for guards. All of the other villagers are not really fulfilling the part. So once the night is over, I'm going to show you the last part, how to show your villagers where they ought to do their jobs. And then you need, you know, everything you need about, uh, you need to know about villagers to have some fun with it. Oh no, there's one last thing for the last bit. A little bit of a surprise sorts, nah, not really. Just a feature that you should know about too. So the sign work. You can assign storages, then they get white marked like that, so your people can then work with them. The configurations can be accessed here in the cockwheel area, which basically allows you to exclude items or change priorities and uh, other nifty things. Everything is pretty nice and self-explanatory, I think. Workstations can be also given free to people like that, so... Just like this, for example, this workstation here is assigned to the people. And here in the cockwheel area, you can add recipes on the specific workbenches and order you folks to do the recipes according to your plans. Pretty nifty stuff, easy to understand as well. Forestry zones will show your folks where they are allowed to chop trees. You can configure these when you're assigning them, whether you want replanting or not. So you can use the forestry zone to either clear out a spot from trees by just uh, going here and uh, disable the replanting uh, thing, or you can also configure more precisely what kind of saplings you want to have replanted here. There's a couple of little things that you can do here. And once forestry zone is assigned, your people with the with the job there will go forward and go crazy. Husbandry zones can be uh, pulled here over there as well. They require an animal tamer, otherwise they uh, nobody can interact with animals. So this is something where you need to work towards too. The husbandry um, area also lets you define how many animals are allowed to be there, so you can also enable auto-slaughtering. And fertilization zones will go over the fields, as you see there, can only be utilized by farmers and basically shows your farmers where they are supposed to dump fertilizer at. End of the story. So there's one last thing. When you talk to people, you can also ask them to join your adventure party. Your adventure party is the ability to take your, your, your villagers and, and take them to other tiles for adventure's sake. You can here configure how they are supposed to use buff potions. And most importantly, recall scrolls allow you to give your buddies a, a method of escape. Really always stock up on these. Here you can bring in party inventory, potions and foods, two types. So you get can buff up your people accordingly. So they, they work basically the same like you. 
Adventure parties are a pretty cool way to amplify your fighting power and just make sure that you have enough recall scrolls in case you don't want to let them die. And as you see here, Glendegard is following me like that. And from this point on, you need to have food in your party inventory to satisfy that person because it's now your task to care for that person until you talk to them and ask them to leave your adventure party and then they go back to their old village alive that they have led before. So now you know everything I know about villagers and I hope it helps you out. Feel free to drop me your comments, questions, additions, whatever, because I don't think that I know everything. That's hard to do so. And therefore, I'm very, very happy to hear what your thoughts and additions. Leave a thumbs up if you appreciated the video and consider subscribing. I do daily content, let's plays, tutorials and stuff like that. And in the playlist, uh, no, the playlist, the description box down there, you will find a couple of links where you can support the channel if you feel like my work is worth it. Many, many thanks for all of you who thought so. And many, many thanks to you for watching this video. I really appreciate having you around and I hope to see you again. So have fun with an assess. Bye bye.